Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys, and yes, continue the trend of videos on dogfights, we are now in this one flying the SU-27 against some F-16s, I'm going to try to use other aircraft and do other dogfights with other players as well, um, in a bit, you know, but I don't know how many of these videos you guys would love to see, so let me know in the comments, uh, this will be the, the final one for now, but I will try to record one with the Mirage 4000 and some others, maybe, if you guys really enjoy these videos, okay? Uh, so, yeah, guys, today we are fighting the main, like, problem that the Soviet Union needs to face in that 1v1, uh, 1v1 dogfight, which is F-16s. They are the best dogfighters in the game. Uh, after the removal of the 9G limiter, uh, the A specifically became probably the best aircraft out there to just do these dogfights. Um, and yeah, I wanted, wanted to try a little bit with the SU-27 to see if the F-16A is still uh, kind of the top dog. And yes, guys, you can see in, in kind of a raid fight on the deck um, over here, We you can clearly see that the A is still a little bit better, you know, we can maintain a fairly good amount of uh, AOA and Gs while the, uh, the, the SU-27 is having troubles and the SU-27 by the way in the other videos that I did was basically stomping a lot of the aircraft it was uh, almost almost on par with the Gripen not really but it was there you know and it was um, winning from the F-15 a lot uh, which means that the SU-27 is one of the best fighters out there for these types of dogfights and the F-16A can still maintain a very good, you know, instantaneous turn and get the SU-27 in one of the first turns. If he doesn't get it in the first turns, he kind of settles down a little bit, but then eventually the F-16 kind of gets it uh, anyway again. Here was kind of a mistake that I did, but it was really damaged, so I was just trying to uh, do my best over here to remain a little bit competitive, but I was really damaged on this one. Uh, but in a way, it was kind of funny the way that everything was, uh, you know, working with these aircraft, because the F-16, I don't know, guys, that's the thing. Is it realistic for the F-16 to be able to pull like this? Is it realistic for, you know, the SU-27 pull like this? It's, it's kind of hard to answer these questions, right? Uh, at the end of the day, I think um, the R-73 becomes kind of the main thing about these aircraft. You can clearly have a, a shorter, kind of more faster, kind of on-target shot, always because of the helmet together with the R-73, right? So there are advantages and disadvantages, but if you are going to use the SU-27, bear that in mind that the F-16A, it's still a threat okay and it's an aircraft that will be very competitive i tried to to do a cobra here but it didn't work so my mistake again i guess um i, I really just i was talking with a friend about this they really need to get on top of the way that the flight models work with these air modern aircraft because um these aircraft just like the mig 29 should be able to do this type of maneuver like the cobra i'm talking about the russian aircraft right but for example, the MiG-29, not even in simulator, is able to do weird maneuvers like that anymore. Uh, the AOA limiter that he has, or whatever it is, it's kind of weird. And the SU-27, you know, it kind of... I have a fear, a fear that they will suffer from the same thing. While the F-16 can actually, um, you know, pull more than uh, it used to do in real life. So it's, it's kind of weird that there are some aircraft like the F-15, the SU-27, and even the MiG-29 maybe, or especially the MiG-29 and maybe the F-15 that are kind of limited in some areas in the flight model, and then there are aircraft like the F-16 that don't have these limiters or, you know, limits in general, so it's, they, they kind of need to figure out this type of thing and uh, maybe have a button that you can actually just disable a little bit of the fly-by-wire to be able to do these maneuvers or some form of mechanic on that. It's just weird. And now we tried a little bit with the F-16C 
uh, because the A was basically just impossible to win in a normal match. I mean, of course, in a dog fight, before you get into any dog fights, um, you would uh, basically try to kill it in a BVR engagement, and the SU27 will be the king of BVR. Trust me. Uh, but I think. Uh, like one of the main things is that the lightweightness of the F-16 really goes for it um, and it really makes uh, the SU-27 have a run for the money uh, but the C variant being a little bit heavier you kind of have more of a chance you know as you see over here uh, you are a little bit better and you can do some very weird maneuvers and uh, just basically get uh, the, the guy if you want to right so it's it's a lot better I think and of course even though the A's they are very dangerous you don't see them as much as you would think you know um, especially because they don't have VVR and I'm talking about the block A the, the, the block 10s right the initial A's uh, so it's 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 all right I think it's not a big like problem with um, balancing but uh, we need to be careful with this uh, as you see the F16C I have a lot more time or I mean I don't know maybe I, I was still learning where the magic number of turn of the SU-27 was I realized that it was around 700 kilometers per hour it was really when things started to really work for these aircraft uh, and I tried to do some Cobras and stuff but it's just I don't know some people are even saying that it's not a finished flight model yet so we need to wait and see how it is actually going to perform in the live server uh, but right now I think it's going to be up there uh, and I, I really honestly think it's going to be the best meta aircraft in the game. Why? Because it's the most complete aircraft. It will have the most amount of BVR missiles, the most together with a fairly good amount of R-73s, being the R-73s being one of the best if not the best IR missile in the game, together with an amazing performance of power and turning capabilities with HMS and just a lot of fuel and Jesus Christ that was a really bad mistake um, so overall even though we can lose in dogfights here I still believe that the SU-27 will be the most meta aircraft in the game when it's released if you are careful enough against this spe some specific aircraft that can beat you in a 1v1 like a Gripen uh, or an F-16A you know or even a C right here um, you can really be competitive and you know destroy whole teams you will have enough missiles to basically level the playing field by half you know you can destroy half the team if you are um, you know good enough with your aircraft which is something you know even if we are losing in these uh, kind of situations I still believe firmly that we will see something like that happening right here is a demonstration of the BVR capability, a little bit of the SU-27. So, um, a friend of mine had the SU-27 there, and I used the F-14, which is one of the best American aircraft for BVR, right? Of course, now we have the F-15, uh, but I didn't want to just use the Sparrows, of course. Uh, from the F-15 to the F-14 doesn't change much if you're only going to use F uh, Sparrows, right? So, I really wanted to use this, the Phoenix and the max that the American uh, Tech 3 has um, with, um, you know, with just the, the, the most amount of missiles and the best missiles that they had uh, with the Sparrow and the M54C trying to get an SU-27. And I, I took off, he basically took off when I was already flying very high on the sky to show how effective an SU-27 can be. If you don't go cold, it is pretty much impossible to destroy this thing. Uh, in a BVR. Of course, it's just a demonstration. It depends very much on the pilot uh, because there are ways of avoiding these missiles. Um, and I was kind of just pushing forward like a normal player would normally do. Uh, they normally just they, they avoid trying to just um, going as aggressive as I did normally, even players. But if you was going to, if you were going to be uh, this aggressive, that's how. Effectively, the, the gameplay would be like, so I fired the two phoenixes as you see, he already fired on me, I notched uh, or I cranked a little bit to the left over here, I got a, a hard lock at 25 kilometers to try to fire the sparrow, uh, he said that the missile passed right next to him, the phoenix, uh, at one point, 
but even cranking, I mean, with just normal cranking, I'm already losing the lock and the missile hitting me, the, the R-27. So you can clearly see the main problem with these aircraft. Um, you don't have the speed or the radar to actually uh, make your missile hit the target first and eventually you just die for the R-27. So yes, I think the SU-27 will be a scary aircraft to beat, especially in the BVR, but in any type of situation. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. So yeah, bye guys. See ya.